really curious to see what you're going to do next, so good luck. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, can you do me a favor? Can you take your cell phones out? I want you to all hold them up in the sky. And judges, in front of you, you'll see famous landmarks from all over the world. Wow. Chris. Yes. I'd like you to pick one. And when you've done that, write it down on a piece of paper in front of you. Don't let me see it. Great. Show the other judges for me. And Chris, can you just fold it up? Whack it inside your pocket. Whacked. Fantastic. So before I came out on stage tonight, I stuck something on my back. What are they doing? So, uh, Chris. Yes. Have a look inside there for me. So you Am I find pulling a, it out and showing it to a everyone? A boarding pass. Okay. Which says... London Airways, Hardwick, Chris. Los Angeles, LAX. To Washington, D.C. to go see the Lincoln Memorial. Come on! <laughs> that was the thing! It's in my pocket. Yes, this is it. The Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. But I tell you what, um, just for fun, Simon, um, where would you have gone? Uh, obviously Big Ben. Okay, and Heidi? New York. New York to go see the Statue of Liberty. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mel? Rome. Rome to see what? The Trevi Fountain or the Colosseum? The yeah. Fountain. The Trevi Fountain? And yes. finally, Howie? I want to go to Cairo. Okay. Um, I tell you what. Chris, could you uh, just uh, open the is this your phone? Open the camera for me. I want you to hold this just here. Okay, okay that's great. Watch the screen. Hey Simon, it's Tom here. Funny thing, you happen to pick Big Ben because I happen to be standing outside Big Ben right now. I'm in the oh, middle of London, buddy. I'm in oh my town. god. There we go. You see me hiding? You're gonna pick the Statue of Liberty, so I'm standing here right now. Look, you see the view? There's Manhattan. Is that better? Can you see me now? Yes. You're going to pick Chevy Fountain. That's why I'm standing here right now in front of the Chevy Fountain in Rome. Howie, you're going to pick the Great Pyramids of Giza. That's why I'm standing here right now in the middle of the desert in front of the Great Pyramids of Giza. man. That's crazy. I am 16 years old and I love magic. I'm a little bit of a loner, and it's always been really difficult for me to connect with people my own age. As all my friends were out, I like partying or whatever they were doing, I was sitting in my room reading all the books and just learning as much as I possibly could, and then I'd go out and try it out on people. Did you feel that? Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> oh, my world. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I could just go anywhere, and people are like, oh my gosh, you're a magician. That's so awesome. That's what really I was like, oh, there, might, there might be something to this. Hello. So I've got, uh, I've got some snack a lackage right there. And now to do this, I need to borrow a dollar bill. So does someone have? No. I didn't, I didn't say it was free. I didn't say it was free. Oh, how we got one. Okay, awesome. Great. Thank you. Everyone here has a unique fingerprint, which basically means that out of all the 7 billion people in the world, you are the only person with that fingerprint. Same thing with a bill. Only the serial number acts as the bill's fingerprint. So to do this, actually, uh, Howard, I would love for you to help me out with this. Uh, what I want no. you to do is I, I hate you... helping. You hate? Yeah, but I'll do it. I'll make, I'll make this easy for you. I want you to just read off that serial number for us. All right, here we go. L zero eight seven three zero four three two M as in Mary. All right, awesome. Here we go. Great, thank you. And now, uh, now Melby, just take that bag for me. Yeah, and just uh, just grab it by the bottom. Just hold it above your head. Now, what I'm about to do. Most people say this is absolutely impossible. I'm gonna get this bill to actually teleport from my hand to that bag. Now to do this, I actually need to use the power of fire. That's why you take this sealed bag of popcorn and just tear it open. Now open it up. You see something inside the bag? Yes. No. Yeah. Show, show it to Howard. Show it to Howard. You see something inside? Pull it out. And actually, yeah. Heidi, what I'd love for you to do is just please read off the serial number on that bill. Let's see if it matches Howie's. Wow. L, L zero zero eight, zero eight seven seven three three zero zero four four three, three two two M as in M. magic. Wow. Well, come on, make some noise. Let's do this. That was really good. How do you do that? 
How do you do that? All right. You know, when I, when I judge an act, I t put a lot of credibility into what this crowd feels and how they react. And that reaction was genuine. You had people up on their feet. Your trick was flawless. You're getting emotional, aren't you? Yeah, this is this really this means so much to me. Yeah. Good for you. You weren't re you weren't expecting that? No, not at all. Have you suffered a lot of rejection with your act? Yeah. A lot, yeah. Today you proved something. You got the goods. You've got charisma. You know how to handle yourself. For 16 years old, it's quite remarkable. Thank Good you. for you. I loved it. Thank you so much, Howard. I liked it. I want to see more. I love that you bring snacks. <laughs> I liked you. Thank you so much. Mel? I don't know how you did it, and I want to see you do more <laughs> stuff. You, my friend, are great. Thank you. Howard. Here's what's... Uh, amazing to me. I believe at 16 years old, you have just stepped, sir, into your future. Thank you. Okay. All right. So here we go. Yes for me. It's a yes. It's a yes. Yes. We are going to see you in Las Vegas. Hi. What's your name? My name is Damien. What are you going to be doing here tonight? We have a dangerous act that I want to show you to you guys. How long have you been doing this? This one is the second one. Oh. So you've oh only my done it gosh. once. Oh my gosh. And this is a very dangerous escape act. Yes. Yeah. Why? What could happen? He could die. Yes. You're being serious? It's serious. I will be locked up from ankles, wrists, and neck with only fragile cover above me. I have two minutes to escape before 900 pounds of sand above that cross the cover and buried me alive. So and hopefully... And you believe it's worth risking your life for this? For America Got Talent? Yes. Do you have a family? My wife is watching from the side and probably she's not going to look because you're always afraid about everything. Yeah, they, okay. Hi. Your wife is very beautiful. Thank Do you, you have children? No, but hopefully after this, I'm going to start a family with my wife. Are you ready to start a family? Yes. yes. Finger cross. Everybody. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Thank you. I think sand should be worse than water.
dive. Breaking in, shaping down, checking out. Uh, what is your name? Justin Rhodes. And what is your talent? I'm a singer piano player. I started playing piano when I was three years old. My dad sat me down, and that was the beginning of music for me. My parents loved that I played music, but didn't necessarily want that to be my career. But I decided to move away from my family in Buffalo, move out to New York City to pursue music. It has not been an easy road. I was playing bars and clubs where people were out to party, and it quickly became what would be my undoing. You know, drinks after work, which led to drugs. It was the darkest time of my life. My dad's a man of few words, but I could tell that I disappointed him as his only son. I was ashamed, I was embarrassed, I was worthless. Like, my dad hasn't seen me perform since I was a kid. That's crazy, you know? Now he's getting older and has a tough time getting around. I was scared that I mean, that would end up never seeing me perform. This competition isn't just about me succeeding, it's about proving to my dad that I am worth something and that I'm, this is what I was meant to do. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? Very good. What's your name? Justin Rhodes. Justin. What will you be doing for us today? I'll be singing Wake Me Up by Avicii. Ooh, I like oh, that. Nice song. I like that song a lot. And are you here by yourself today, or you have anyone supporting you today? My dad's here today. Hi, Dad. <laughs> this is your fan group. They always trouble with you. No, my dad has uh, never really seen me perform as an adult. This is the first time he's seen me on a stage. Aww. So that's why? Why has your father never seen you perform before? That sounds strange to me. Uh, I live in Florida now, and he lives up in Buffalo, and uh, it's get a little harder for him to get around. Well, enjoy this moment. Thank you very much. Have fun. I love that song. So let me up when it's all over. When I'm up and I'm older. All this time I was finding myself. But I didn't know I was lost. Didn't know I was lost. Didn't Wow, I really loved listening to your voice. You took me on your journey. I really, really liked it. I think you're very special. Your voice has a certain tone to it. It's sexy, you're sexy, and you're pitch perfect. Thank you. It's great. Thank you. Wow, she, see, she's hot too. Okay. She's hot in her. <laughs> and these two will take you home, believe me. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, I agree with the other judges. I think you have a beautiful tone to your voice. You know, you are able to come out here and convey something through your song. And I'd love to hear more from you. Howie, what did you think? I'll tell you what I thought. You know, I'm a comedian and I'm a husband, but first and foremost, I'm a father. And you said that your father's having a tough time right now getting around. And it's a miracle that he can be here and witness his son's life blossom in front of America. You did something right, sir. And you should be very proud. And what a, you know, I'm a little choked up to watch this, but you did phenomenal. And I'm proud of you, and you're not my son. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's vote. For me, it's a yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a very exuberant yes. Oh, it's a definite yes. How are you? You know. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vote for your father. What do you think he would say? I don't know. What does he say? What do you say, sir? Yes! I 
honest, I would rather be following my heart, even though it's really hard. That's worth taking a risk on. I'm not gonna lie, the past few years has been really tough, not knowing where the next paycheck's gonna come from. So there's a lot riding on this. My stomach's kinda, my stomach's kinda doing a the thing. These may very well be the most important 90 seconds of my entire life so far. Well, good luck. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Melby, would you come up and join me on stage? Is that cool? Yeah. Cool, and you can join me. Okay. This way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're going to try something, right? We're going to use cards. Okay. Playing cards. I'm just going to show you a card, right? This is your card, Ace of Hearts. And you guys can all see? I have a pen. I just want you to sign your name across the face of the card, and I'll hold it for you. So you have like a surface to write on. Just, just sign a big it. signature right across it, yep. Excellent. That doesn't come off, that's good. So we're gonna take this card from here that you just signed, and I'm gonna fold it up into quarters, and I'll be. I'm gonna ask you to do something kind of strange with this card, okay, but I need you to trust me. You're gonna take this card. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna bite you or anything. You're just gonna take this I card. I worried about that. And you're gonna bite down on it like this in your teeth and just leave it there. Okay. Right? So bite down, just keep it there. Perfect. I'm gonna take a card. Four you're spades. You're very fit, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the four spades. I'm gonna do the same thing with the four. I'm gonna take the pen and I'm gonna sign my name on the four. And I'll show you guys once I'm done. So you can cap that for me. You guys can all see the card? Yeah? Uh, it doesn't yeah, come I off? I can see it. Yeah. You have binoculars. I'm going to do the same thing, Melby. I'm going to take the four spades, and I'm going to fold it up, and I'm going to bite down on it in my mouth. Now what? <laughs> in your hands. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hopefully, if I did this right, one card. No this is your way. card. Look at the card in your mouth. No. That's really good. Good job. Now. Would you say that that was like almost our first kiss? Would you say like we almost kissed, right? I came pretty close. I want you to think about your first kiss. I want you to picture their initials. And you're just I don't gonna. Really like this so I'm gonna. I have my first kiss with, by the it's way. okay. I want you to imagine I'm your first kiss. I'm that person. You're gonna take your fist, <laughs> since you don't like that person, and you're gonna punch me right in the heart. Right? You're just gonna give me a good punch right to the chest. Really? Yeah. Just go ahead and punch me. How'd you can't? Okay. Ow, that, hurt my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that left an indelible mark on you, that first kiss, right? And it wasn't Ooh, that yeah, pleasant. It wasn't that good. You just left an indelible mark on me when you just punched me. I did. And you were thinking about this person, right? Yes. I want you to say their initials. Right now? Yeah. SM. SM. Okay. Might be a little red. Let's see. 